Hey guys, TJ Francisco here with a, a professional spotlight video. I have my guy Josh Pilgrim here from Yarborough Insurance Groups. Um, I trust him with actually insuring my own house and I give him out uh, to other people. And he does a fantastic job communicating, um, properly insuring people. And you know, it's your biggest asset. So you really have to protect those things. So that's why I trust Josh. He does a wonderful job. And I just wanted to ask a few questions of him and just let him answer. And uh, we're just going to kick it for a few minutes and talk a little bit about insurance here. So welcome, awesome. Josh. Thanks, TJ. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate you coming on and doing videos. You know, this isn't the most comfortable things at times, but, you know, we love our people. We want to treat you guys right here. Um, just wonder what, what type of insurances do you actually um, offer people? At our agency, we do a lot of insurance. Uh, we do, obviously, the home and auto insurance, uh, which is the most common, obviously. Uh, but we do things like motorcycles, campers, boats, uh, four-wheelers, um, life insurance, umbrella insurance. So we do insurance, including business insurance, commercial insurance too. So we do everything at our yeah. agency. Hey, very cool. So you've got A to Z, it sounds like. So if you're looking to cover anything, uh, there you go. So um, we, Michiganders, had some big changes in our auto insurance last year. Um, I don't understand it completely, to be honest with you, but I did call Josh. Uh, when it did come up and he gave me some good advice. So what exactly were some of those changes that came up for autos? Yeah, the main change was basically to the medical coverage on your policy. Um, before auto reform went through in July, everybody was required to have unlimited medical coverage, which is awesome, great coverage. No other state has anywhere near that, but it's expensive. Uh, now you have some options and you still have that unlimited medical coverage. Um, but you have options where it can cap out at a half a million dollars or 250,000. Uh, certain scenarios, if you're on Medicaid, you can cap out at 50,000. And then if you're on Medicare parts A and B, um, you can actually uh, eliminate it completely. Um, there's pros and cons to everything. Everybody's sure. different, but yeah. uh, uh, obviously the less coverage, the less cost for your insurance. There you go. There it is. You just nailed it. So. Um, just what are some common uh, mistakes people make when they insure their, you know, their auto or their home? Yeah, I think um, when people are looking for insuring their stuff, a lot of times people look at what they used to have um, or what they currently have uh, and not really using an agent to their advantage of what's going to be actually best for them. Sure. Um, someone calls me for insurance quotes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the other agent talked to him about, so I kind of go over the details of that and uh, using the aspect of an actual agent that is um, licensed to sell in the state of Michigan. So uh, okay. I think that's very important. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome, man. So, um, you know, obviously I sell homes, so we want to talk a little bit about the home side too, because, you know, most people, probably 95, 99% of us, the home is our biggest, you know, investment, so to speak. So we want to make sure it's covered. So um, tell me, what are some of the biggest misconceptions with homeowners insurance? Yeah, uh, I think it's the coverages overall. Um, there are certain things that aren't covered uh, and discussion with the agent can really uh, uncover what those are to see what you really need. Um, some of them might be something as simple as like a four wheeler or a motorcycle in a garage and people think if it catches on fire, it's covered under the house when it's not. So um, you just want to have that discussion of all the stuff that you have and uh, just to make sure everything's covered properly. Yeah, absolutely, man. No one wants to lose, uh, lose their toys in a no. fire, or, you know, have that uh, bad news given to them where... Yeah. Uh, you know, you're losing your uh, assets or your, your toys and such. Um, are there any extra coverages uh, we may need, you know, just to think about for, you know, for your homeowners? Sure. Um, yeah, I think um, some things that are overlooked are, um, there's a coverage called water and sump backup, which okay. should cover, you know, if city sewers back up your house or if you have a sump pump and it failed, yeah. there's coverage for that. That's not typically covered on a home policy without this coverage. Yeah. Some companies that we uh, work with, because we work with about seven or eight companies, uh, some of them have a, a coverage called matching roofing and siding, uh, which could help if you have a partial damage to roof or siding to, and you can't find something to match it. <laughs> you don't want that oddball looking house. So that could be something that's important. Uh, another one would be uh, scheduled jewelry or scheduled uh, um, riders for a lot of high value things. Sure. On a policy, um, every company is different, but something like jewelry, 
uh, there's different coverage levels for it. Sure. And a lot of times someone's wedding ring is not covered. So uh, putting a separate rider on that uh, for that uh, jewelry is something that's very helpful. Yeah, absolutely. So I have these conversations all the time with people and it's, it's awful. I hate, you know, talking to people and hearing these stories because you feel bad, you know, they just, or they just don't know. I mean, no one wants to lose money, lose their assets, um, get things damaged, but honestly, give Josh a call. He's going to do a fantastic job. He's going to talk to you like human and not, you know, talk over your head. Um, I guess that's why we probably get along so well because he keeps it nice and simple and easy, man. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. You know, that's, that's, that's a treat if you have somebody, you know, treat you the way that you want to be treated and uh, talk to you, you know, on, on your level, basically. So yep. I'm going to leave Josh's information below. Uh, if you have any questions or just want some quotes, reach out to him, please. And he, you should probably be doing this at least once a year anyways, just to get some numbers and make sure you're, you know, covered properly and um, you're getting, you know, you're not overpaying on something that yeah. you don't really need. Get the right? best option available for you. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks a lot, Josh, for coming yeah. on, man. I, I appreciate him. He's a great guy, um, does a great job. And uh, we want you guys to reach out, reach out, reach out. And um, again, I uh, hope you guys utilize him for, you know, his resources and such. So thanks a lot again, man. Appreciate right. you. Thanks, DJ. Yeah.